This week's trick, even after they see how it's done, they won't be able to pull it off. This episode of Scam School is the science project gone awry from GoDaddy and Gamefly. Welcome to the show that very likely, most probably, will not get you arrested. Scam School, the only show dedicated to social engineering at the bar and on the street. I'm your host, Brian Brushwood, and I love today's tricks because it's one part puzzle, one part mental dexterity, and one part magic trick because you, sir, are about to get corked. Oh my God, it is so good to see you guys. Brett Rounceville, AKA the Am Tricker, and Katie Moe, it's good to see you. And what's your name? Ashley. Ashley, it is wonderful to see you guys. Let me tell you something, uh, the problem is, maybe it's a good thing, when you host a show called Scam School, and everyone just assumes you know everything, but then out of nowhere, somebody will sheepishly show you a trick, and it's kind of embarrassing when you're supposed to be the scam master, and you're just like, I'm sorry, how did you do that? <laughs> and, that's, and that's exactly what happened. We had our cousins over a couple months ago, and my cousin Scott Acock, he was just like, oh, we're here, watch this. And I was blown away. I, and it took. And what's funny is, I was such an idiot, I had to record him showing me the explanation <laughs> in order to actually figure it out. But it's kind of a cool mind bender. Here's the challenge. Everybody grabbed two quarts. I went to the bar and I grabbed a whole bunch of wine quarts here. And you're gonna tuck them in the crook of your thumb and forefinger, just like so. Now in this game, the only fingers that exist are your thumb and forefinger. You don't get to use any of these guys over here, okay? The challenge is, is you wanna get this wine cork into these fingers and this wine cork into these fingers. And you want to make the transfer simultaneously. You with me so far? Now technically, if you just grab it like this, you've already grabbed them, but the problem is they're locked and you can't pull, you, you gotta be able to pull your hands away from each other. So you could, you could, if you wanted to break the simultaneously rule, you could hold this here and then reach in and pull this out, but that's not doing them simultaneously, right? So once again, you wanna start like this, and you wanna get the left hand one into the right hand, the right hand one in the left hand, and you wanna be able to just reach in and pull them straight out. So go ahead and play with it and, and see what you guys come up with to see if you can actually pull it off. Okay, so I want this one over here. Yes. This one over here. Yes, or not in the crooks. You actually want to end up. You Can want you to balance them? You want to start oh. like this. I balanced it. And then you want to. <laughs> you know what? Here's the weird part. Because you guys see the problem. The problem is that you have a topological impossibility. Oh, and you go, topology. Yes, you know topology. Right. Three dimensional mathematics, yeah. right? So the problem is you're linked here and there's no way to get out unless you do, you know, some kind of like that that's what switchy. I do. Yeah, that's yeah, some people do. <laughs> but what's really weird is if you pull it off just right, you can actually see, even though they're linked, you can pull them straight through each other. Did you did you see I Katie's face? That was so awesome. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's super this. simple. I think you did this. Yeah, you know what, that is what I did. But I do it so fast that you can't tell. Watch, they start linked and then you just pull them right apart like that. Wait a minute, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna do this, do it again. Oh, it's totally simple. You start with them in the two sides and you wanna get this one on this side, this one on this side. And so you just grab them and even though they're linked, you can pull them right through each other. Oh, because you're like this. Oh. <laughs> Here's what's really beautiful. easy once he does it. See, you guys were laughing at me because I said I couldn't figure it out when he tried to teach me. <laughs> okay, listen, I'm gonna, not only am I going to do it again, I'm going to walk you through all the steps after we thank our sponsors. All right, let's talk about Gamefly. You like games, I like games, and Gamefly is the largest online video game rental service that offers you a choice from over 6,000 new and classic titles from all consoles and handhelds. They got plans starting at $15.95 a month, and members can rent one to four games at a time and keep them as long as you like, with no late fees, no due dates, and shipping is always free. Once you're done playing a game, just send it back and Gamefly will send you the next one. And if you really like the game you're playing, just click on Keep It on the Gamefly website and the game is yours at a discounted price. Gamefly will even mail you the case and manuals free of charge. The best part is Scam School fans get a free two-week trial when you go to Gamefly.com slash Scam School. That's Gamefly.com slash Scam School. It's completely free. It's as good as winning a free drink. Get on over there.
Guys, I cannot believe it. We are almost up to 100 episodes of Scam School. And for our 100th episode spectacular, I want you to be the star. So I want everybody to record a short video, 10 to 30 seconds in length, and post it on YouTube. You can demonstrate your favorite Scam School trick. You can tell a quick story of your massive success, or better yet, your failure. Keep it short and to the point. Try to make it cute and pithy, and we'll get you on the show. You can send me the link at brianrevision 3com or you can Twitter it out with hashtag Hashtag scam school 100 and we'll pick it up can't wait to see you guys it's gonna be a monster party now get up there and show me how creative you guys can be are you guys ready to learn how this works? Yes, yes. you're still trying to figure it out the hard way so there's two parts that make this beautiful first of all the whole setup that I describe I describe all the you can't do this you can't do this because I want you to get stuck in the idea that this is the only way that having them linked is the only way you can get your fingers on them but that's not entirely true. The other, the second part that's so great about it is now that you're stuck in this linked fingers mode, when I actually set up like this, I'm actually not linked, but it looks like I'm linked. Like when you look at that, you would swear, oh yeah, they're linked together, and then you pull them apart. So I'm gonna explain how step-by-step si step to do this. So once again, it should look like this. You got them on each side, you just grab them, it looks like you're totally linked, but then you pull straight apart. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Thing itself. Are, uh, is everybody right-handed? Who's yes. left-handed? Okay, we're all right-handed. And we're going to actually, we're gonna take our right hand, and normally you would just kind of half flip it in order to grab it. Instead, we're gonna rotate all the way upside down. So like, like, like you could clap like this, right? And then we're gonna take the pad of the thumb, the side of the thumb, and touch it to the bottom of this cork. And you'll notice your other thumb is already perfectly positioned to be on top of the other one. All right, we're almost there. Then your right finger goes on the other side. Now here's the only part that's tricky, is you'll notice your left finger's pretty far down. Yeah, got so you it. gotta you gotta rotate it way on over, and now it looks like you're linked. <laughs> okay, let's go through that one more time and you guys can pull it off. Here we go. So again, corks in the pads like this. You're gonna over-rotate so the side of your thumb is on the first one and you'll notice your other thumb's already in position. Then you're going to, your right index finger should go right in position, because it's not far to go. The only one that's tricky is the left has to come way around like that, I feel like my thumb's and then, not long enough. boom, ta-da! All right, now, here's the real question. Can you do it without me reminding you step-by-step step how it's done? Yeah. Yeah. I think so. All right, everybody in position. Let's see it. This is my favorite part, I just sit and watch. Ha ha! Dude, you guys got this down. A couple of things to remember when you're pulling this off is you want to, if you want that final illusion for it to, when I first learned this, all I learned is, hey, hold two things like this, it looks like they're linked, and when you pull them apart, people will be amazed. By itself, that's a little bit weird. So I think the, you gotta remember to do the whole crap setup of getting them thinking about playing with it like this, and then moving it on this side over here, playing with it like that, and then on that third beat, that's what, and what I love is, is once you're here, wait for a while and show it to them and say, look, even though they're linked, you can pull them right apart. That's when you get the, this is redonkulous moments, <laughs> when you're looking at it. You know, if you're new to Scam School, you may not know what a domain smack is. Well, in short, domains are so ridiculously cheap through our sponsor at GoDaddy.com that you can register them just for fun or to make a point. For example, take an insulting domain like LoserIdiot.com and use the forwarding feature to have a point to any of your friends' websites. You type in LoserIdiot.com and all of a sudden, there's their smiling face. And they don't always have to be mean. For example, Jason Fryer just wrote me saying, Brian, I just registered my domain smack, FeralMountainMan.com. Since John Hodgman has claimed that Jonathan Colton is feral in both of his books, I thought I would help Jonathan by sending a new domain to his site. I'm sure he will appreciate it. Of course he'll appreciate it, but come on, you gotta admit, he looks like a feral mountain man. Don't forget, if you want to get the best price on your domain smack, use the promo code SCAM10 at checkout. Not only will you get your domain for $7.49 forwarded anywhere you want for free, but you'll be keeping Scam School in business. All right, you know what? We got a little bit of extra time here, so I'm going to do you a saw. You're still working. Right, I'm, busy. <laughs> I'm way too busy to listen to your little monkey tricks today. That's, that's the problem. Once you learn it, you're going to be doing it all the time, over and over again. But here's what I'm going to do. Since we have a little extra free time, I'm going to give you guys a bonus. I'm going to tell you one of my favorite story tricks 
I did my all-time favorite story trick back at South by South Interactive for, uh, for Jay Adelson, but I think you guys will dig this one quite a bit. And what I love about story tricks is that you don't have to ask anyone to remember what their card is, because nobody can ever remember their cards. <laughs> but Katie, you like magic, right? Yeah. You like stories? All right, Ashley, all right, here we go. Once upon a time, in a land far away, there lived a good-looking, dark-haired king who ruled over the land. And he was married to an equally good-looking, dark-haired queen. Now, what most people did not know is that dark-haired king had an identical twin brother who looked exactly like him. And he was married to the queen's identical twin sister. They were a trendy pair of couples. They liked to double date a lot. The ladies would head upstairs to powder their noses. And the first dark-haired king, being a lecherous knave, would cast his gaze out onto the dance floor and immediately spot himself a cute little red-headed young lady. And his brother, not to be outdone, he went out and found her identical twin sister. They started with a small talk. Hi, how's it going? What's your sign? This happened back in the 70s. <laughs> and before too long, the ladies came down from powdering their noses and they saw what their husbands were up to. They were pretty pissed off. In fact, the first dark-haired queen, she walked right past her husband and sat down right next to that cute little red-headed young lady. And her sister, well, she wasn't gonna be outdone, so she did the exact same thing. Now at this point, there's a lot of name calling, a lot of hair pulling, a lot of stuff we can't get into on a family show like Scam School. But before too long, in a hop, the first dark-haired king, she grabbed her husband, the dark-haired king, right by the ear and drug him right outside. Her sister, well, she followed suit and did the exact same thing. Now I know what you're thinking, Ashley. You're thinking, whatever happened to that cute little red-headed young lady? And the answer is at first she was pretty bummed until she went out on the dance floor and she found herself an equally cute red-headed young man. And her sister, well, she was pleased as punch to find out that he had an identical twin brother and they all lived happily ever after. That's ridiculous. <laughs> That's ridiculous. So you like that now one, Now I need then. to know what just happened. You're like, now I want to learn that trick. <laughs> well, maybe in a future scam school. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. So you guys were a blast. I had a lot of fun. Big thanks to my cousin Scott Acock for teaching me how to do that cork trick, even though it took me forever to learn how it was done. If you want to suggest your favorite bar scam, hit me up at brian at revision3.com. If you want to see any of our episodes back to episode one, head on over to scamschool.tv. If you're doing the Twitter thing, you can follow us at twitter.com slash scamschool or find out when my tour is coming to your town at twitter.com slash schwood. Next week, we're gonna be learning how to make marionettes using beer bottles and pool hall chalk. But for right now, I gotta go practice on my puppetry because I'm booked at an elementary school tomorrow. Who the hell booked that one? <laughs>